Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is the Otterbox Defender Series case for the Apple iPad 2. This case is going to cost you £49 in the UK, $62 in the US. Let's just turn this over. Big shout out to Otterbox, otterbox.com if you want to check out their whole range. This is a very, very durable, high impact polycarbonate case for the iPad 2. Let's get this open. You can see my iPad just sneak in a peek underneath there because it is so so eager to get itself into this case. Let me just have a look at some more of the features here. Uh, high impact polycarbonate, impact absorbing silicon, port and button covers, fold out device stand. Sounds absolutely awesome. Yeah it is a bit more expensive than other cases but look at this. This is so well constructed. This is high protection for your iPad 2. And now let me just take this outer shell off. First of all, this is like the stand portion of the case. So I can put that to one side. I'll show you that in a minute. This is the actual case itself. And it's sort of a two-piece design. We've got this, this portion here on the outside, which if I just peel it off, this normally sort of comes off. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. So we can peel this outer shell off the case. And this is like the silicon part. This will go back on, but you take this off, just do that button area carefully, and, and this gives you the extra sort of uh, soft impact protection on the outside. So let me just pop that to one side as well. And then this is the place, place where your iPad 2 is going to go. Uh, we've got sort of a soft padded section on the back, so that stops your uh, iPad back actually touching the back of the plastic. So that's really good because it means you're not going to get it scratched up. And then this is like a two-piece design. So we're going to just take these little clips off like so. And this one here. I can just get it off. Actually, let's go back around to this side. So we're going to ease this apart. Like so. So we pop that in there. We will offer this up to the case. Let's have a look around the back this time. So on this back portion, we've got to make sure that two tabs go under and one goes over the top. And that is better this time. And then we can go around and clip all of these bits in and it should go a lot smoother this time. So again, click, click, work our way around, click. And this time, everything is in place correctly so that's cool and then we can take the rubberized section so this is the rubberized portion of the case and we just offer this up to the bottom section and then we're just going to peel this around like so make sure that everything is pushed in nicely because this is going to give you your sort of extra protection and make sure everything's sealed nicely. So let's work our way around this side. Not the quickest of cases to fit this one. And we pull this top edge round. Everything in place nicely there. Just the top edge to do. And again, we're just making sure that everything pushes into the seams along the top edge. And we've got port covers on this case as well. This is so f fiddly. There we go. So that's everything in place there. The home button actually pushes in as well. And then round the back, let's have a look round the back. We've got to make sure that all of these bits are pushed in. So that's all clipped in. There we go. So everything pushed in nicely and all of the ports covered. This one here doesn't want to seem to go in. There we go, I'm sure they're going in in a while. But there we go, that's everything in the case. So this is how it would look if it wasn't in that stand portion of the case. Um, we've got on the side here 
full coverage on this side, on this top edge here, we've got a little cover here for that earphone socket, which doesn't seem to want to clip into place. We've also got a cutout here for the microphone, raised section here for the sleep weight button, cut out for the camera. Then on this side, we've got a little cover that goes over that rotation silencer switch, raised section for the volume rocker. And then on this bottom section here, we've got a cutout for the speaker. And then this flap here actually covers the dock connector. And it does fold all the way back so that you can still dock this whilst it's in the case because you wouldn't want to remove it from the case every single time. And then this just eases back into place like so. And I think it clicks in on the bottom. These covers just do not want to go in. Let's just put them in first. There we go, that's better. And then that clicks into place like so. And then we've got a cover for the dock connector. So that is pretty much all of the ports covered, apart from the speaker, remains uncovered. Now this is the stand section. Now I've seen this on other devices as well. We've got this portion here, which angles up like so, and then you can place your iPad on it like so, and you've got a good typing angle. So that's really good. I'm just gonna to refer to the instructions, and I'm pretty sure that you can't stand it up at a higher angle. Let's just see, it's not really meant to do this. Could you use it to stand it at that angle? No, you couldn't. So it's just gonna be used for gaining access to that typing angle that so many cases seem to feature. And then if I take this off and then lower this back down, you can actually pop your iPad into that and carry it around with the stand on the back so that's really good and you should be able to if I go all the way round place it in this way round if you so wish and then you've got the screen covered as well so for sort of transporting it you can place it that way round as well just something to note on this stand let me just show you this a little bit closer we've got rubberized feet so when you're using it as a viewing stand it's not going to slip around on your desk and this mechanism is really nice it's a nice mechanism to get that angle for standing your device on. Now, with regards to the case, a um, little bit fiddly on these covers, but this is a high impact case, so it's gonna give a lot of protection. So it is a little bit more fiddly than other cases. Not so sure I like this area here on the home button, but other than that, it's a nice looking case. It seems to offer up so much protection. There's real impact protection on this case and the fact that you've got that uh, sort of viewing stand as well that you can use, it, I think is pretty decent. So you're paying a premium for the protection and it is quite bulky, but if you need that sort of protection then the Defender Series case from otterbox.com should certainly be on your shortlist. Well, thank you very much for watching. This has been Dave from Geekanoids with a review of the Otterbox Defender Series case for the iPad 2. Please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geek and Noise channel.